Hello, everybody. Good to be here today. I'm wearing the same shirt from yesterday. <laughs> How funny. We are here um, at my perfect time to play, a Saturday morning. It's lovely. My spring break is uh, coming to a close, so I wanted to have some fun today and do another episode of Crystal. We, off screen, um, off stream, I went ahead and got Lucius another haircut, and we've seen that on the stream. You don't need to see me walking back and forth the golden rod with the speed up on. Um, another thing that we did, I just did a little bit of item maintenance. I bought a few items, and specifically, I didn't know that she would be there. She must just be there on Saturdays. There is a woman that is in the underground sometimes with the haircut brothers and she sells herbs and what they do is they heal your Pokemon but they are cheaper than normal items but they're they are bitter and they weaken the friendship that you have and I just went ahead and bought a revival herb because that will revive your Pokemon all the way to full but I'll just make sure we never use it on Eevee before it evolves um, so that's what I did there, and then I got us right back to where we were here in the lighthouse so we can just pick up right where we left off. Um, I believe we've got Rupert in the front, yes. And we'll just let Rupert roll here. So here we're just going to vibe through the um, lighthouse. I'm going to go this way. Um, going past that woman up there is the way to continue through the lighthouse, but I wanted to go ahead and... Um, go this way because there are a, there's an item or two that I want to grab over there and that's how ooh, we, we're going to test out strength on Rupert Grunt. Krabby's got pretty good defense but that still does a lot baby. We'll finish with a horn attack. Uh, but yeah to progress through the lighthouse we go left by that woman but we want to grab these items here. Uh, we'll just stay in. Horn attack do half? Yeah. Love to see it. Rupert really is a powerhouse in the attack department. Another reason why I wanted to pick one up for our playthrough. Heracross is just lovely. A really cool Pokemon. Um, Heracross is really great. Um, you can also catch Pineco out of the... Whatchamacallit? The trees when you headbutt them. And Pineco evolves into Foratris, which is a very defensive Pokemon. But it is a Steel and Bug type, which is a really cool type, and I really like it. There's also another Steel and Bug type Pokemon. You can catch... Um, what you can do is if you catch a Scyther, you can give it an item called a Metal Coat. And if you trade Scyther with the Metal Coat on, it will evolve into Scizor. Um, or Scissor. Some people say Scissor. I say Scissor. Um, but that is maybe one of the sickest Pokemon ever. I don't know if there are any trainers that we will run into that has a Scizor. If we end up doing the Battle Tower, um, maybe that'll happen. Um, my voice is a little raspy today, guys. I, I haven't gotten very good sleep the past couple nights because I have this thing with my chest going on right now. And I'm usually a stomach sleeper, which isn't good. I know it's not good. So I'm trying to not sleep on my stomach. And because the other day I woke up and I had tons of pain from sleeping in that position um, with like the little thing, I'm, the little injury I'm dealing with. So I just have not slept well the past couple nights. It's been just crazy annoying. Um, so that was a TM. I actually don't remember what that TM is. TM 34 it was. Swagger! Um, that is a move that raises attack, um, while confusing the opponent. Ah, rare candy. This was a worthy pit stop. Always love to pick up some rare candies. So now I'll go back to where we were, and we'll fight this woman here. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I haven't slept well lately, and... I think that made me a little sick this morning, which I really hate. I hate being sick. Um, and sometimes you really just 
because now I'm sick and now I have my little injury and it just really feels like my body is kind of out of its equilibrium, which I hate. Uh, but you know, we keep going. I'm a, you know, I'm a guy in his 30s now. I'm here playing my favorite old school, old school Game Boy games. So that's just kind of par for the course at this point. So what you do, you fight this lady and you hop down this hole. Hop down this hole. You go Margo first. And there are a couple more trainers we'll fight. I think there's two more little sailors in here. Um, in the remake of Generation 2, um, the lighthouse is just kind of oriented a little bit differently. They do a lot of really cool things in the remake. Um, like, just design-wise and world-wise, just to make it a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more... Um, exploratory? Explorative? <laughs> you can explore it more, is what I mean. Um, and I'm excited to play the remake, especially because we're gonna do the remake and we're gonna get a Mareep. Um, because <laughs> we can't get a Mareep in Crystal. Because I love Crystal, it's probably my favorite. Um, but you can't catch Mareep, which is a big, big, uh, thing stacked against it. And our girl Margo here isn't quite the powerhouse she was at the beginning of the game because those... Like, that rage and that normal headbutt were just cleaning up shop. But, I mean, we're still doing pretty well. Um, it's funny, we were kind of under-leveled for those trainers that we encountered in Union Cave. Um, but we're kind of reaching a point in the game here that people kind of, you know, they don't love. Because... A lot of the levels of the trainers kind of even out, and your levels will start to kind of get above them. Um, once we get into the sea on our way to our next town, it won't be as obvious, but then... Because what you can do is, once you get Surf, you can go west to the town that we're going to, or you could head east. Um, you could do either one of those first, so the levels can kind of be weaker on the trainers, depending on which one you go to first. Is Margo up to 22 yet? No, she's not. Let's get her there. Because Pampras is just super strong right now. Um, and Pampras is going to be able to get those levels pretty quickly. Because right now, we're kind of planning on crossing the sea to get over to Cianwood City. But we could go to the east to go to Mahogany Town. And kind of like canonically, the order of the gyms is kind of weird. <laughs> because the gym leader in Mahogany Town, as you can see, he's the old man there under the seven. He his levels are technic are lower than six, my favorite gym leader, Jasmine. So we'll probably fight them out of order. It's kind of similar to Kanto in that way, where once you get through like the first half of the game, roughly, it really kind of opens up and you can do some things in um, whatever order you want to. But we're gonna go in the order that I traditionally go in. So here we are at the top of the lighthouse and here's my girl, Jasmine. This Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Seanwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't have Amphi <laughs> unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Absolutely. I'll do anything for you. Oh, yeah, that is not what the cry is supposed to sound like. Its breathing is terribly labored. So that is actually what Mareep evolves into, is an Ampharos. Um... <clears throat> it's like a lighthouse Pokemon. It's an electric type. It's really awesome. One of my favorites ever. And I am happy that even though we can't use an Ampharos in this game, we can still get a nice little showcase for it there. Um, let's see. There's another item over here. Or I thought there was. No, there's not. Just that Super Potion. So now we can just hop down these holes all the way back down the lighthouse. Very easy to get out of here. And now we're out. Back in Olivine City. Ugh, I just love the daylight filters in this game. So let's heal the squad right quick. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, 
pa 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 So, we are going to cross the sea to get to Sea and Wood City. And we're going to skip the trainers for now because I like to get to Sea and Wood City. <clears throat> and that way I'll have access to a Pokemon Center before I fight too many of the trainers in the water. Um, and we will fight the gym leader there. His name is Chuck. He is a fighting type gym leader. Let's do a super repel. And as a kid, I always thought that crossing the ocean was such like a big deal. Um, and it does feel cool, but... Fight this lady. It does feel cool, but it's actually not that far when you know where to go. So if we need to go cr back across the, the sea to get back to Olivine City, we can. Because the main thing that you get for defeating Chuck is you get the ability to fly, which will be ridiculously useful. Ah, uh, Staryu. I believe you can catch Staryu in Olivine City if you use the good rod there in the bay, which is super cool. Um, but his levels... He's definitely going to be above us um, at the start. So we might need to grind on a few of these trainers. Um, it's not a huge deal, but... There we go. But like I said, we're going to skip some of these people for now. There's another route here. We'll go into Lucius. Let Lucius get to level 23. Go ahead and fight you, bro. Um, so what you'll see here as we get through the sea, there are these kind of like, I guess in the game they're supposed to be kind of like reef um, areas that you can't go through. Use that shadow ball. Uh, still not doing much. Again, it's going to be very useful against those ghost type Pokemon if we run into more of those. Um, and Espeon is a psychic type. So, if we fight other Psychic types, we'll have a super effective move to use against other Psychic types while resisting their Psychic moves. So that's a really good piece of coverage there that I like to have on Psychic Pokémon. Because a lot of Psychic Pokémon can learn Shadow Ball. Ah, Quick Attack! Very nice! We can go ahead and just get rid of Tackle. Because Quick Attack is just Tackle, but better. Because it never misses, and it always hits first. Um... Okay, Tentacool. We're gonna get Lucius out of here. Uh, let, we'll let Sonyquil do this. I don't know if Tentacool knows a water move right now, but we do have the super effective Mud Slap. It's not going to do a ton of damage. But yeah, that'll, that'll work. Oh yeah, Constrict, that's one of the weakest moves ever conceived. Don't poison me. It did. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? How horrific. Yeah, those Tentacools are always... They always be poisoning. Um, so Tentacool and Tentacruel, they are known for having very high special defense, but not very high regular defense. So our boy Rupert Grunt should be able to make some pretty quick quick work. But I will say, Tentacruel is one of the underrated Pokemon ever, because it's so... it's not rare, but it's really, it's really powerful. Ba-ba-da, ba-ba-da, ba-ba-da. I think I still have some antidotes in my bag, though. I'll just pop one. Absolutely. There you go, Sinequil. You feeling good again. Let's get Lucius out of the front. We'll go Pampras. Mm, actually, we'll go Margo, because Chuck, the, uh, the gym we're about to run into, is a fighting-type trainer. As you can see, there's kind of like this weird coral thing, and there are these islands around. Oh, wow. This is a higher level than us. Oh, and I can't escape. Oh, no! What a disaster. What a disaster, folks. I'm gonna have to use... Uh, I'll just use my... I'll use an antidote. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. You can see there are these little islands there, and there's this little whirlpool. If we try to go through it, it just spits us right back out. There is an HM that we can learn later, called Whirlpool. Um... Oh, yes, she's talking about exploring the Whirl Islands. That's what is in this little sea area here. Um, and that might be something that we have to do, um, because my favorite Pokemon of all time lives in the Whirl, Whirl Islands. 
and it's very it's a very very cool spot for a legendary Pokemon to be. All right, I think Margot should be able to do pretty well here, even though I think this woman does have a Sea King. But yeah, those are the World Islands, a really cool like lore area in this game. Oh, I'm slower now. Oh, there we go, Quick Claw. Love to see it. And again, the World Islands are another one of those areas that are completely optional. I don't really know how to get through there very well, honestly. But uh, we'll go into Pampers here. Because unfortunately, while the Ice type is very useful, um, it is weak against the Fighting type. So we actually don't have very good matchups to go against our boy Chuck in his gym. So we're probably going to be in for some uh, some tough battles once we get there. So yeah, there are four um, kind of entrances to the World Islands. I'll go ahead and just kill this tentacle because I don't know if we'll be able to run from it anyway. There we go. Yeah, as a kid, I was like, well, you can't go back across the ocean. Um, so I... There we go. Here we are in CN Wood. There it is. Here's my Pokemon Center. Um, I was just like, well, you can't go back across the ocean to go fight trainers, so I would spend a lot of time um, grinding just against wild tentacles and tentacruels. So here is something. This is the pharmacy. Your Pokemon appear to be fine. Is something worrying you? The Lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble? I got it. This ought to do the trick. So we get this secret potion. So when we go back to Olivine City, we can give the Ampharos the secret potion. And that will um, heal the Ampharos. But here we have this guy. I wanna, I'm want to. i going to do something for a second. I'm just going to deposit Margo just for a moment. Because we have this guy here. And he gives you a Pokemon. He's He goes, oh, I'm in shock. A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. I know a guy just like that. He scared me into giving him my prize Pokemon. Oh, I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon for a while? He says, can you look after my Pokemon for a while, but you just keep it. Okay, that happens a couple times in this game, actually. Um, oh, thank you. Take good care of it, please. SCG received a Pokemon, which is interesting and very mysterious. But here, we have Shucky. And this Pokemon is a Shuckle. It is a bug rock type. It's like a really niche Pokemon. It has like crazy high defense um, and special defense, as you can see. But its other stats are super weak. So it's definitely made to be kind of like a stalling Pokemon, like a defensive wall. It's really cool. I really like Shuckle. It's very, very cute. And if, fun fact, if you leave a berry on him, it will turn into a berry juice. I don't know why they did that, but it's just a special little thing for Shuckle. However, I am going to take off that berry. Because now we have seven berries, and we can heal the mill tank once we get back over to Olivine City. So for now, we're going to deposit that old Shuckle. I just wanted to show that to you in case, you know, in your playthrough, you wanted to use a Shuckle. That's where you get it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the only one in the game. I don't think you can catch them in the wild. Where is my girl? There she is. There she is. Did I heal the squad? I think I did. I sure did. So another thing that you will encounter... Oh yeah, when we got the secret potion there... So here's the gem. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Leader Chuck. His roaring fists do the talking. Chuck is hilarious. I actually really like him. Um, but if you go to get the secret potion before you talk to Jasmine at the lighthouse, he won't give it to you. So you need to talk to Jasmine in the lighthouse before he'll give it to you. Um, <gasps> what's that? I know that Pokemon. That's Suicune. Let's see. Let's get... 
believe he starts with a Haunter or a Drowsy. We're about to have a battle, like a nice little mini boss. So here is Suicune, and we get to encounter it, and it runs away. And Suicune is awesome because it can run on the water. I love that. Yo, SCG! Wasn't that Suicune just now? I only caught a quick glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune running on the waves! Suicune is beautiful and grand. It is true, very majestic Pokémon. And it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Come on, SCG. Let's battle now. Ho ho! Um, also, love his sprite. Mystical Man! Ha 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 ha! I love it. And he, yes, he starts with a Drowsy. And I went, I started with Lucius because we can hit him with that Shadow Ball. There we go, love to see it. Yes, and the Hypnosis Miss, we are rolling. Perfect. Um, I might let Lucius kind of stay in here if he wants to use the Haunter, yeah. That's why I taught this here Shadow Ball. You can't hit me with your ghost moves, man. Unless you curse me, of course. But that basically means you're gonna die on this turn. Curse can be very useful in a playthrough, um, but when the NPCs use it, it really just means they're kind of killing themselves. <laughs> um, let's see, and then finally he has an Electro. This has been pretty easy so far. But here, oh, we'll go into Sonyquil. because we can hit him with that Mud Slap. And Electrode's a pretty good Pokemon, it's fast. But we can get in trouble here because his knows Rollout, and it also knows, I think it also knows Thunder. So here I'm really hoping, we should be able to live one more, okay. This happened with the Mill Tank. Okay, cool, we are able to live one more. And we're able to hit him with another Mud Slap. Ooh, a nice crit as well. So, it should definitely miss one at some point. It's got three more. That's very annoying, but good work, Sinaiquil. You did your job. We will go into... We... We'll go into my wife, just in case it doesn't miss. Okay, it did. Okay. So now we'll go into Margo. Oh boy, there's that Thunder. Thunder is the strongest Electric-type move. And that's crazy that it hit, because it only has 70% accuracy. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's the strongest electric type move, but you sacrifice accuracy. Okay, great. I was going to be really mad if that hit again. But the thing with Thunder is in this game, they introduce um, rain. We kind of saw that with the Poliwhirl in Union Cave. Um, it can use Rain Dance, and that will increase the damage of water type moves but something else that it also does is if you use thunder in the rain it can't miss which is a super cool little detail that was a nice battle with you seen love to see it oh, i hate to admit it but you win that gives us a nice little chunk of change too <laughs> love to see that you're amazing scg no wonder pokemon gravitate to you i get it now I'm going to keep searching for Suicune. I'm sure we'll see each other again. I mean, I'm glad that you're going to keep searching. You were searching for like 10 years, right? Glad you didn't give up. So this is something. What is this? Photo Studio. Take a snapshot as a keepsake. I've literally never, ever done that. I think it had something to do with like, you could print little pictures off of your Game Boy like way back in the day, like you could plug something in and you could print a little picture out. Um, at least I'm pretty sure that was it. And I think that's kind of like the mechanic that was using. Um, but we're not gonna mess with that. If you wanna mess with that in your playthrough, be my guest. Let's see. We hope to see you again. Because honestly, I don't have much knowledge about it to show it to you. So this lady's interesting. You cross the sea to get here? That must have been hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly, but you can't use fly without this city's gym badge. If you beat the gym leader here, come see me. I'll have a nice gift for you. Really telegraphing that she's going to give us fly, which is very nice. Um, so here, we are... We're going to start with Rupert because there are two trainers that you have to fight back to back. I actually really like this little... 
um, thing they got going here. You have to fight both of these trainers. And anytime you get here, anytime I get here anyway, because in my playthroughs I always come to this gym first. Um, I'm always a little bit under leveled, so it's fun. And one of them has a Hitmon Lee, and one of them has a Hitmon Chan. Luckily, we get to fight Hitmon Lee first, because he. Oh, I love the way his foot moves there. Ooh, it's so cool. That was like, that was like the reason I bought Crystal. <laughs> I bought Crystal. My parents bought Crystal for me. Um, was the reason I wanted Crystal. Like, that sprite movement alone I thought was so sick. Um, because again, oh wow, that is a great damage on strength. Okay, I was about to say, that had to have been a critical hit, because it's not very effective. Great job, Rupert Grunt! You're tanking hits. Tanking hits! Wow, made easy work. That fight's usually tougher. It is nice that I have that, uh not very effective matchup there. Ooh. And see that guy runs right into you before you have a, a chance to move. And like I said, so we have Yoshi and Lao. Lao sent out Hitmonchan. And Hitmonchan has the same problem that he did in Generation 1. Is that he gets access to these elemental punches, but he doesn't have good special attack. And all of those moves use special attack in this game. Um, oh, Thunder Punch looks so cool. See, that didn't do anything. Um, I will swap into... I'm going to swap into Lucius for now, because I think... Oh, boy. I'm actually going to swap out, because I'm afraid that he has a fighting move now. <laughs> okay, I don't think he does. So we should be able to defeat him with Rupert Grunt. Um, but yeah, his special attack is just so terrible. Um, oh, and now he wants to use Fire Punch. I forgot he had Fire Punch. This will be super effective. Okay, there we go. That's all right. We'll use Rupert later. We can let, uh, we'll let Margo do it. Let's see. Oh yeah, Comet Punch is just a normal type move. I don't think he has a fighting type move. Um, but something that I've explained on the channel before um, is that in later games, they do something called the physical special split, where here a move is either uses attack or special attack based on its type. But um, in later games, sorry, something like that, um, the, the move uses attack or special attack based on the move itself. So in this game, fire is a special type, so fire punch is a special attack. But, in later games, it makes sense that Fire Punch would be a physical attack. So, even though it has the special type Fire, it um, is a physical damaging move, if that makes any sense. And, you know, seasoned Pokemon players out there know this already. Um, but they actually don't do that until Generation 4. Um, and we are in Generation 2 right now with the Johto games, so... Um, that's still a little ways away. So yeah, for today, what we're probably going to do is we're going to fight the trainers in Chuck's gym here. Um, we're actually doing pretty well. Our levels are close. Um, I might fight a few trainers off to the side, but something I might do is just save some of those trainers. Because um, it's really nice to save some of them for later in the game when you need to just catch up a couple, couple more levels, maybe get a couple... Um, a little bit more money. Um, so let's see. Machoke. Um, we're going to see what Sinaiquil can do here. Because I would like to get him to level 25. Yeah, he, he is really hurting for a bet. Oh, I forgot this number. Rock slide. Mm, that's annoying. Oh, thank you for not killing me. Um, Sinaiquil is really hurting for a new move right now. Uh, let's see. We'll go into Margo. Oh, and it missed. Great. Rock Slide is a very good move, but again, it can miss. And there we go. Karate Chop in Generation 1 is a normal type move, but in this game, they rightfully make it a fighting type move. Yeah, that'll knock out Margo. That's okay. We can go back and heal the squad. Um, we'll go into Pampras just to finish it off. Love to see it. Okay. 
So yeah, what I might do is save some of the trainers in the sea, and we can just fight them later when we need to catch up on levels. Or get a little bit more money. Because I feel like we're gonna be able to beat Chuck. If we can't beat Chuck, we can always fight those trainers then. Um, and kind of go back to the drawing board like we did with Morty. Because, um, yeah, Morty was tough. It was a really fun battle needing to go get that uh, mint berry. But yeah, we're about a half an hour in. How's everybody doing? How's everybody's week? Um, like I've said before, my week has been good. Um, I've had the whole week off work. I've been trying to keep myself busy with other stuff, but... You know, it's been very, very nice to have the week off. I am really hoping that uh, these next couple weeks at work can go well, just because we're kind of really getting toward the end of the year. Um, just a couple months left before the school year ends, and it's kind of going to be a, a marathon to get there, so I'm hoping we can get there quickly. Quickly enough, anyway. We will have a couple days off. I think I have a day off in April. And I have the morning off the day after Easter, which is nice. Um, let's try to do a mud slap here to see if, see if we can get Mankey to miss, and we could not. Yeah, as you can see, our boy Sonic will really... Oh, boy. Come on, don't kill me. Gosh, dang it, man. Our boy Sonic will really needs a better move. Um... I'll let, I'll let Lucius Revenge kill this Mankey. There we go. That quick attack. But we will not stay in because that Karate Chop will hurt my, my precious boy. We'll let Pampers take this one. There we go. So maybe we're not ready for Chuck. <laughs> maybe I'll, uh, I'll get the squad up to about level 25. Um, we'll keep in Pampers. Primeape is the evolved form of Mankey. Oh, I love how those little dots are above Primeape, kind of like it's sweating. Oh, I really like that. That's a cool little detail that I've never noticed before. And again, yeah, we don't have a great matchup in this gym, guys. Um, I think our only Pokemon that resists is good old Rupert Grunt here, which we'll go into. Yeah, and Machoke has that uh, coverage move of Rock Slide. I don't think uh, Primeape is as lucky. There we go. Yeah, Primeape's got some good attack, but it's not very bulky. There we go. Still a level 24. Love to see it. So what we'll do is we will get a couple of our members up to level 25 with some of the trainers here in the ocean. And then we'll give Chuck a try. Let's see how it goes. Because I believe his levels are level 27 and 30. And... Yes, this is actually okay. Because I'm... Gonna go ahead and let Sonyquil, um maybe knock out a tentacool in the ocean here. Oh, maybe not. I'll just fight this girl. Hooray! My real life wife is calling me. Real life wife. Um, we'll see if we can beat this horsey. I think it only knows bubble. So I don't think it has any water moves that are gonna destroy us. Oh my gosh, yeah, there we go. Just got bubble. That's nothing crazy. And yeah, Sonyquil is just not very strong right now. It's good when it has its matchups. When it has its good matchups. Okay, so it does no water gun. Don't kill me. Okay, great. Um, we'll let Lucius come in and clean up once again. Um, yeah, it does well when it has its good matchups, but not much else after that. I'm pretty sure it learns its next fire move at level 31, which is still kind of far away. Um... Once we get to the next part of the game, and we are fighting some lower level Pokemon, that'll be really good for Sonyquil to kind of catch up. There we go. Oh good, the smoke tree missed. Oh, Dragon Rage! That is a very powerful move for this point of the game. Um, my wife should get here probably right about the end of the stream, so that's cute. Alrighty. So Nyquil's at level 25, that's okay. I'm gonna leave Lucius at level 24. Um, just because... Oh, let me use this repel. 
Again, we don't really want Lucius to be getting too high of a level. But we will want to get have Lucius see some action in the gym. Um, because that will increase his friendship a little bit more. Oh wow, this is like the exact matchup we had earlier where we fought that guy with some Krabbies. <laughs> Deja vu. What do you know? Swimmer Matthew was defeated. So basically, there's four Whirl Islands, and I'm going right in between all of them right now. Um, basically, I'll fight most of the trainers here on the left side. That should get us about where we need to be. Okay, good. Let's see that. I know that there's a guy here with a couple of Gyarados, which we don't really have anything to deal with a Gyarados right now. And I think he's on the right side, so I don't really want to fight him yet. Um, this might actually be him. Maybe I, maybe I will try to fight him. Save, just in case. <laughs> um, so yeah, this guy's sitting right in the middle of the Whirl Islands, and it's all one kind of like underwater cave, which is super sick. Oh no, this is not the Gyarados man. He's got a Quillfish. This is a new Gen 2 Pokemon. It's not very strong, um, but it's pretty cool. It's a water poison type. It gets a really cool evolution in Pokemon Legends Arceus, if any of you have ever played that. Um, I love Pokemon Legends Arceus, but it's really funny because I absolutely loved it the first time I played it. And then I kind of began to realize that they took so much inspiration from Breath of the Wild, it's crazy. Uh, having now play now that I'm playing Breath of the Wild for the first time. And <laughs> playing through Breath of the Wild, it's kind of shameless, honestly. <laughs> they really just straight up copied a lot of things, like the vibe, the music, kind of like the sparse music. Um, oh wait, no. Uh, Goldie, let's go. We're gonna pay our Um. And like the crafting aspect of everything. Breath of the Wild, man, it is a just, it is a breathtaking game. It is gorgeous. It's truly seamless. It's incredible, man. I, I'm very, very impressed. I'm glad that I'm finally playing it. Because again, I'm not much of a Zelda guy, but I'm into this. This is, it's really cool so far. Um, I'm not very far in it. I am maybe, I am about to like, tame the first divine beast, or I'm going to attempt to tame the first divine beast. That's where I am right now in Breath of the Wild. Did I fight this guy? I did. Um, we might need to fight more trainers than I thought, gang. I don't think this is the Gyarados guy. I think he's got some, yeah, he's got a lot of tentacles. Um, so we can just kind of body slam through all these. I'll just kind of speed through this because they're all pretty low level and Pampers can knock them all out at once. Um, but yeah, Breath of the Wild is an absolutely amazing game. I'm so impressed with it. Oh, that was a star you. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> there we go. And now I believe he's got... Oh, it's just a Remoraid. Um, Remoraid is actually a Pokemon that I considered using for this playthrough. It is a pure water type. Um, it's really cool because it's kind of based on like a water gun. It's very frail, but it has some good special attack. And it evolves into an octopus Pokemon, for some reason. But that octopus Pokemon is called Octillery. So it's like a tank Pokemon, basically. Or like a... Like a... Like a mortar. It's based on... It's based, they're based on, like, weapons of war. Which is not a great thing. And I know that they really kind of toned down that inspiration a little bit um, because the original designs, they really looked like a gun in a tank. <laughs> when you look at kind of like the beta sprites of Remoraid and Octillery. But uh, yeah, there's, those are still kind of like the inspirations behind them, which is kind of, it's still kind of neat. You know, I hate, I hate guns and violence, um, but uh, it's still kind of, it's still a neat idea, you know? And, yeah, that's kind of a Pokemon that you don't really think about using as much on 
Johto playthroughs, so I was considering uh, picking one up for ours, but then I really decided that I wanted to showcase that Friday-only Lapras, which is pretty cool. Right, that's pretty annoying, because now our headbutt probably won't knock it out. Oh, no, it does. It does. It does, still, is what I meant to say. So now we're here at level 25. We are leaving a couple trainers in the water. Um, and we can come back and fight them if we need to, but I think we should be pretty good for Chuck. Because even though Chuck um, is pretty powerful, he only has two Pokemon. So we can kind of do what we did with... Um, Whitney a little bit where we were able to kind of divide and conquer and make it a real team effort to knock out her mill tank we can probably do something similar here to Chuck all right so what we're gonna want to do here is I am just gonna open with Rupert Grunt because Chuck begins with a primate also, I do love his little bit here. You'll see. Whoa! So you've come this far. Let me tell you, I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this! Urgh! Urgh! <laughs> he just throws the rock. And they're scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true! <laughs> come on, we shall do battle. See, I love this guy. He's just a fun guy. He's just a guy being a dude, you know? And he's got his tongue out. He's hilarious. I love Chuck. His vibe is incredible. His vibe too smooth. So, something that they did with Chuck, and I'll give them this, because there are new fighting type Pokemon, like Heracross, in Generation 2, that it's just like, why doesn't Chuck use one of those Pokemon? Wouldn't that be way cooler? But... If you remember from our yellow playthrough, um, Bruno uses Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, and Machamp. And Chuck uses the two fighting Pokemon from Generation 1 that Bruno didn't use. Which is kind of, that's a cool, that's a cool bit of synergy. I do kind of appreciate that. And I also really like that, as you're going to see, Chuck's ace is a Poliwrath, um, the evolved form of Poliwhirl. And... Polyrath um, is like, it's a water and fighting type, and this is kind of like a seafaring town, like a rough and tumble sea town. So I really like having Polyrath here. Really glad we outspeed. I wanted to hit with a mud slap um, because Polyrath likes to use, well, it likes to use surf against fire types. I'm basically resigning to Sinaiquil dying in this battle. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. This will knock me out for sure. But Polyrath likes to use a move called Dynamic Punch, and that is Chuck's kind of signature move in this in this gym. That'll for sure knock out Sonyquil. Don't worry. Sonyquil will be pulling his weight in in due time. Um, it's, it's a kind of a tough stretch for him right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Lucius. And we're going to switch right out. Um... <laughs> because I just want Lucius to see the battle and gain that friendship. But yeah, Polyrath likes to use Dynamic Punch, and it is a move that does not hit very often, um, but when it does, it, I think it only has like a 50% chance of hitting, but when it does, it um, does a lot of damage and instantly confuses you. Um, so thank you, wife. Thank you for your sacrifice. Love you, baby. And... What we want to do here is we can probably just go into Rupert Grunt because we can tank that die Dynamic Punch if he wants to use it. And yeah, so Dynamic Punch, it only has a 50% chance of hitting, but it always confuses and it has 100 base power. But this is another move that Polyrath has in its arsenal. When you use Mind Reader, the next move that you use will always hit. So lowering its accuracy can help sometimes. Like, we we got... Oh, wow, it still hits the Hypnosis. That's brutal. And Hypnosis is not a very good accuracy move. So using Mind Reader into Hypnosis or Mind Reader into Dynamic Punch is a really good um, 
really good combo for him. But let's go ahead and go into Margo because we're asleep and we should we should tank this pretty well. I think. Oh yeah. And do we have speed? No. Great. Got the miss. Love to see it. This headbutt should knock it out, and that'll do it for Chuck. See, and that's like I fight Chuck a little early because he has the lowest levels. He's like canonically the fifth gym leader. And even though we're a bit underleveled, we can still divide and conquer on him. That was a good fight. I enjoyed that. Leader Chuck was defeated. What? Huh? I lost? How about that? You're worthy of Storm Badge. Very cool. And even though it's called Storm Badge, it's like a fist. Doesn't really make that much sense. Um, but again, it's kind of like Storm, like you're in the storm on the sea. It's a very, like, water themed fighting gym. It's cool. Chuck's gym has a cool kind of like theming and deal with it. Um, here, take this too. And this is actually the TM for Dynamic Punch. I don't know if Heracross can learn Dynamic Punch. I don't know if I want to teach it, at least not yet. It's nice to have a very powerful mo uh, fighting move, but again, it's just so unreliable. And Heracross can't even learn it. See guys, why not? I love this game so much. It is like my favorite game ever. But developers, Heracross got hands. He's a fighting type. He should learn Dynamic Punch. He should learn Dynamic Punch. <laughs> so here, you cross the sea to get here. This is our fly lady. Haha, -ha, that's Sea and Woods gym badge. Then you should take this HM. But then she has a nice little nugget of information here. Nice little, little bit of lore here. Teach fly to your Pokemon, you will be able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. My husband lost to you, so he needs to train harder. That's good since he was getting a little chubby. That's his wife! That's his wife! My wife's a bell sprout, his wife's a human woman. Good for Chuck. Um oh, oh, I was about to say, what happened? So here, folks, uh this actually might be a pretty good stopping point for us. A little bit of a shorter episode today. Um, but I wanted to get in here and stream today. Really nice to cross the sea and get our fight with Chuck over with. Um, so one last thing we'll do here before we call it is we will go ahead, we'll deposit my wife for now. We're going to need her for more HMs if we want to use cut, but we can grab Pogo, our Hoot Hoot here, and we can teach Hoot Hoot fly. Um, I have another Pokemon that I'm going to use for Fly later in our run that you'll see. Again, another one of my faves of all time. So we will go ahead and teach Fly to our Hoot Hoot. Ba -da -da -ba! And before we go, I will show you Fly in this game. So now we can go to anywhere on the map that we have been. As you can see, those two towns in the top right we can't quite go to yet. But now, we're going to go ahead and fly to Olivine City. I like the little leaves. Um, so yeah, folks, with that, um, we're going to go ahead and call it there. I'll save those trainers in the water if we want to fight them later. Um, next episode, we'll go ahead and heal the Ampharos at the Lighthouse. We probably won't fight Jasmine yet because we're not quite ready for her. We will head east of Ecruteague City to go to Mahogany Town and fight some of the trainers over there and see what's going on over there. But um, thank you so much for watching this whenever you do. I really, really appreciate it. I'm so happy to show off this game. I say it every time. I love doing this and I'm grateful that I, you know, have the time and the means to be able to. So thanks a lot. Have a great week. Peace out, kids. See you next time.